People say to me all the time, it must be great to work from home all the time. And I say, is it? Go get it. Because you're constantly being interrupted while you're trying to work by people wanting to play catch and fetch. See, told you. <sighs> Sit. Sit. Give me five. Thank you. <sighs> so, I haven't played in my Diane Reevely 8x8 black journal for absolutely ages. So, I thought that I would do this month's mission inspiration mid month mini mission on a black page, which means that I'm going to be doing a kind of black and white silhouette kind of image. Now I'll display the uh, mid-month mini mission card on screen now. So as you can see, it's nature. So looking out of my window into the garden, I can see that um, we have some small dandelions that are on the turn. So they're just about, the flowers have gone and the seed heads have started to appear so they need to come out of the garden before they get blown all over the place but aside from that I thought I would create an art journal page just using white and I'm going to try and create some dandelion seed heads just by using some white paint and for that I've got Dina Wakeley's acrylic paint in white I've got a little spritzer bottle I've punched a two and a half inch circle from some card to create a stencil template and I've just got a little pot here that I can mix up some white paint in with a fan brush and I'm going to be doing some splatters so I've got a couple of sheets of scrap paper just so I can mask off the rest of the page so to get going then or to start off oh I've also got one of the um, Signo white opaque uniball rollerball pens which are my go-to white pen for this kind of project so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a cluster I think I'll do um, two or three over this kind of side of the page so I'll start off over here I'll mask off don't need all of that so I'll just turn that sheet in half I'm going to mask off the rest of the bottom of the page and then mask off the top part of the page so that I'm not going to get any paint anywhere else on there. I'll take some white paint, just mix it on this little plastic paint palette, add some water and then mix that up with my fan brush and then once my fan brush is loaded I can start to add the splatters. Now I'm not bothered if I get any of the splatters on this side of the page. I just want to mask off this side so let's just start with some dandelion circles yes I'm deliberately putting some at that side you'll see why okay so I'm going to remove the masks and then I'm going to bring in my heat gun and I'm going to dry that off. And right, now then my heat gun has stopped working. It's finally given up the ghost. I do have a spare somewhere. 
So, back to the old pink one. Still works after all this time. I've had this one about five years. The Tim Holtz one I've had about a year and it's given up the ghost. The previous Tim Holtz one died after three months, but hey ho. Right, okay, so that's dry. So I want to create another one just about here. So around about there. So again, I'm going to mask off the rest. Like that. And then grab my paint again and do the same thing. I've still got plenty of the paint left. And try and get smaller blobs this time. There we go. Grab the heat gun. So that one's now dry, so I want to place another one about here. So around about there. So I'll grab my mask again, just to cover the rest of the page. and then repeat the process again. I'm just going to knock off some of the larger globules. That's it. Lovely, getting it all over my hands now. Remove the masks. Get that heat. Oh, I've got the cable caught. And now. I'm just going to add some more paint onto the brush but I'm going to just take some of it off I'm just going to just gently add a few wisps there that'll do so get that dried So those three dandelion heads are dry now. There's no paint that was actually there before. So I've got my French curve ruler. So I'm going to just bring that down and then just use that curve with the Uniball white opaque pen. And hopefully it's going to behave itself. I'm just going to add in that curved stem and then the same thing over here hopefully I don't smudge that bring the stem all the way up and then same thing for this one down here And then just add a few tails coming off. And I think I just need to make those stems a little bit thicker. 
So let's see if we can try and match up where we used the ruler. So that's about there. Just try and thicken that line up a bit more. And then try again down here. See what we can do with that one up there. Okay, so there's the stems all done. And I just want to make sure that they're not going to smudge as soon as I start working down here. So I'm just going to give them a quick blast and then I will be right back. So now those stems are dry, I want to write down the name of plant so hopefully the pen's going to behave itself while I do it. And of course I've just gone and spelt it wrong. Fantastic. Back in a mo. God blimey. You try and write something down and look what happens. going to get that dry and then I'm going to come back and just finish off with a white border to go around the page. Okay so that's pretty much dry so I'm going to start just by doing just a wavy line across the page. like so. doesn't matter whether it goes a bit scrabbly, that's fine. And I'm going to go all the way around. Let's go back over. And then again. I'm working right to left because I can actually see where I'm going. Even though I am right handed going that way, I'm kind of blinded. But at least I can see where I'm going if I go this way. But it makes sense to me anyway. And of course, if you've got one of those. Diane Reevely journaling blocks. If you're not comfortable doing this freehand, you could use one of those. I've got one, but I don't want the lines to be too even. Um, let's see if I can grab it. There we are. So I could have used the edge there pretty much, but I decided to do it a bit freehandy. So this time I'm going to go back around again. Just give it a little bit of a kind of twist and just to kind of create a few loops. Almost like a twisted rope. like that. 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some white blocks. Oops, just make sure I get it in shot. Try not to get my head in there too much. Just create a little bit of a decorative border. So I'm going to work my way all the way around the page. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me do the whole thing because that would just be so mega boring and softwareific. And we don't want people falling asleep whilst watching an art journal page, regardless of how restful and relaxing, doing the doodling is. So I'll be back in a minute. So my border's now pretty much dry and I'm happy with that page. This side of the page now, I've got plenty of space to actually do some personal journaling on this side, leaving that side, but it does obviously blend itself across it does kind of make it feel all part and parcel of the same thing. So I'm going to write some bits and pieces on this side later on about the garden and how it's starting to turn out this year and how much I'm enjoying getting in there and getting my hands dirty. But for this side I'm just going to sign it and date it. If I can remember what date it is today I'll just put May. 27th or 28th, I think. There you go, 29th. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go, 29th. So Tuesday, the 29th of May. And I'm going to call that page done. It's nice to ditch the colour occasionally, give yourself a break from trying to work out what colours go with what. If you're finding difficult or finding it difficult trying to pick a decent colour scheme, why not just stick to one or two colours? Um, give yourself a limited palette because it does help spark your inspiration and your creativity to do something a little bit different and to step outside your normal comfort zone if you kind of restrict your colour palette. And I like to occasionally ditch colour completely and just work in white on a black background. So I hope you've enjoyed that art journal page. I know it's not exactly um, complicated, there's no layers or all that kind of stuff. I've not used any stencils, I've not used any paint. Well, not used any paint, as in, in the background. But it's nice just to step back and do something sedate for a change. And that's what nature is all about. In fact, I'm going to write that up there. And what's more peaceful than watching dandelion heads blow off into the breeze? I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.